Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. So today, of course, I'm going to be reviewing a little obscure film, of course. It's low budget and it's a blast from the past. It's a martial arts film again here, and it's the one titled Snake Shadow Llama Fist. Oh, that's a mouthful. So, okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I guess it'll be technical. It's a drama action type movie of martial arts. So here we go. And by the way, this is the English dubbed version I'm talking about. Just so you know. Anyway, which I'll get to in a moment, I guess. Anyway, of course, as usual, I'll be talking about the story. So let's get into it, shall we? So here we go. We get to see that our main character, yeah, he's pretty devastated because of the fact that yeah, those the family that was murdered by three crooks, and he sets out to get revenge. So again, we're dealing with a revenge story. Like I said before, yes, this seems to be a common theme in a lot of the kung fu movies I reviewed. Revenging, oh yeah, definitely a revenge kind of a character. So yeah, we're doing that aspect again. Anyway. Of course, he has to go after one by one, and then just attempting to do his best, obviously. So he has to go after the, the leader, uh, and of course, the boss character is definitely going to be the toughest one of the bunch, as these movies tend to do, of course. Yeah, so it's a whole thing with the uh, governor's wife, as a part of the story, of course. So... Our main character must do whatever it takes, and because if all it fails, he must fight to death, obviously. And that's definitely is a thing with this movie, of course. When I mean, you think about it, because how to make it dramatic, some kind of some kind of way, because this is a drama film after all, drama kung fu. So there you go. But like I was saying a moment ago, this is like the dub version, and yeah, I want to point out. Yeah, the dub in here isn't particularly great, really. It's kind of annoying, actually. I mean, it's not the worst dub in here, folks, but it's noticeable. It's really noticeable in a really kind of bleh kind of way. It's kind of like whatever. Another complaint is that the use of Star Wars movie, the, the Star Wars music. Yes, I'm talking about that. I mean, this wasn't that the weird. That's what makes it so weird. Star Wars music in a kung fu movie. I know they were trying to make it seem like menacing, intense, which I'm fine with, but you couldn't create your own original music. Like, really? That's... That, it, it, it sticks out. It really sticks out. Because Star Wars is supposed to be sci-fi, right? Well, it's sci-fi drama, to be more specific, I guess, but still, it sticks out in a bad way. But... Uh, again, I'm just reviewing the English dub version. I don't know. I don't think it's in the in the original version of this film because I have not seen the original version of this film. Uh, as I said multiple times before, again, the actual version of these films that speak the old native tongue, it's a pain in the ass, all right? Especially getting the really obscured stuff, it's it makes it really difficult to hunt down to get any, like, legit copies of these movies and no i'm not talking about getting some bootlegged version off of summer i don't want to do that no I, out of principle i am not going to do that I, I don't get bootlegged versions of any movie for that matter just throwing it out there maybe just me maybe i'm just been sticking mud or whatever but i, I ain't gonna get no pirated copies that's just me though that's just me even if it's in a streaming service i'm still gonna do it if it's a legal thing so, I know some people might want to argue that. Well, how else am I supposed to get the actual version? If, if, if the only way I can get the actual version of this film is through piracy, well, I guess I can get fucked then, because I ain't still ain't gonna do it. No. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, that's all. Anyway, uh, aside from that, I thought the movie's fine. That's like, you can get past those things I said, I thought it was fine, really. And I like the storyline. 
Yes, despite the fact I complained a moment ago, it's a revenge story again. I guess uh, uh main character be is being is avenging something again. That's close to him again. That's a bit overused, yes, but still I enjoy it. The fight scenes are pretty good though. Of course I have to talk about the fighting. Obviously, the, because honestly, the fight isn't too shabby in what they were trying to do. It's well put together. The fight scenes are really well put together. And I did like the final fight where the main character has a fight, has to face off the final the final boss. Like these movies that tend to do. The final boss, of course, is going to be the toughest one to punch. It's not going to be exactly easy. I mean, it's not that it wasn't a challenge before. It's just more so with the final, with the final boss in the division that has to... Show off his skills. Yeah. Well, I, I guess you have to make it suspenseful some kind of way. I believe so. So there's that. Obviously. No, yeah, definitely. Anywho. In the grand scheme of things, I'll say that the fighting wasn't too bad. And ultimately, I would say it's worth checking out. If you can hunt down the actual version, that is. That's what this version, it's fine. Despite my complaints, obviously. If it, like I was saying, if we can get by that, it's fine. Anyway, it's dramatic in its own way. There's a bit of drama in here. And it doesn't bother me that these movies have some drama in it because it wasn't the first time these movies had drama in it. Anyway, it does take itself very seriously, which I'm fine with too. It's a period piece. This is definitely a period piece. Like I said before, if I have a favorite kind of kung fu, it would be something like this, where it takes in a specific... Uh, ancient place of Asia. It doesn't matter where Asia. It doesn't really matter where. Just a, the fact it takes place in some ancient place where there's like no technology. Like it's not at least not the technology we have like nowadays. At least so it's like very primitive and whatnot. So there's that I guess. So main characters how and the everyone else has to find a way to make life more bearable for them anyway. So there's that. Anyway. I'll give this film, at least this version of it anyway, a overall rating of a 6.8 out of 10. It's a 6.8 out of 10 for me. So, of course, as always, thanks for watching and take care. Until next time, see ya. Oh, yeah, later.